everybody, my name is Brendan. Welcome to Tangle Break. Today is ZIA Saturday, and ZIA stands for Zentangle Inspired Art. And on these days, we're going to be doing projects that are inspired by Zentangle. And so for today, we're going to be working on this coloring book page. And this is a coloring book page that I submitted to the Village's Coloring Book. And uh, it's been published and all the proceeds are going to the Wildwood Soup Kitchen. And as of today, $3,000 has been given to the Wildwood Soup Kitchen, which I am very proud of and um, wanted to share this with you. So I've done, I contributed three of the pages and this is one of them. A previous page I've already uh, posted on Tangle Break and there'll be one more page that I'll do for you. So let's get started. On this one, it's just like doing a Fragment Friday, but on a larger scale. We're going to be doing two fragments. We're going to be doing M1 and T5. Okay, and all I did was take some copy, a piece of copy paper, and a Micron PN pen because that just has a little bit broader uh, nib to it. And one of the things that they said was to make sure that you had a one inch margin on your paper so that when they published it, uh, all of the drawing would be on there. And um, that was another thing at all, it needs to be hand drawn. So I did, I used my ruler and made sure that this was one inch. And then I drew the lines towards me and I, or I did a frame and then I or it inside and then I did just like we do on Fragment Friday. I split it in half, then I split that in half, then I split those sections in half until I had eight going across. Then I turned it sideways, split it in half, split that in half, then split those sections in half until I had eight going this way. And if you would like to skip the step of um, Doing that, all you have to do is email me at tanglebreak at gmail.com and I'll send you a PDF of this grid right here. And then you can go straight into the uh, tangling and, um, or, and be ready to relax. So this is, what, this is the big one we're gonna do. As you can see, M1 is the first box all the way around. And then, we're going to rotate T5 back and forth to create this meta pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me just put this to the side here. And we're going to get started with M1. M1 is pretty easy to do as far as you don't have to worry about rotating or which way it's gonna go. We're just gonna put a dot in each box around the perimeter of our page here. So just a dot in the center. And that dot is gonna be where the flower comes in together, or the center of the, I call it a flower. The design. Is something very relaxing about drawing and then coloring. Adult coloring books have become such a, a fun thing to do. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you hold it, you have your paper, whatever makes it easy for you. And I'm just going to start here, make sure that you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to go from the corner to the middle. Just doing my little flower thing here. And that's it. And then I go back and do the frame underneath. I just aura the outside. And that's it. We just do that all the way around and it's very relaxing. So I just do my petals.
no right or wrong way to do petals just make it to the corner and then I'm going to aura behind it that's it so I'm going to go ahead and do the whole perimeter and just enjoy the music and you can get into the zone of doing M1 all the way around When there's no right or wrong way to draw the, the petals, um, as you can see, I've almost done the whole first row. Sometimes I start from the middle, sometimes I start from outside, just as long as you have the four petals meeting in the middle, and then the border underneath. Okay, I'm going to turn and keep going. The grid is hand drawn, so some of the squares are not going to be as even as the others, but that just gives to the homemade, homemade quality. It is not computer generated by any means. Just do the petals and then underneath. Almost finished with two solids. And then underneath. And the last one on this row. Okay. Halfway through our border one.
put it in a little bit more so you can see. It's just the same thing over and over. Petals and then the little frame underneath the petals. And that's it. And the last one on this row. If you wanted to turn your paper, a lot of times when we're doing the tiles, we turn our paper a bunch. I mean, feel free to do that. I'm just trying to keep it on the camera. So I'm not turning a whole lot like I do with my lower tiles. Okay, and then this, the last, whoops. This is the last row right now. Last column. We wanted to just do a whole bunch of the petals and then go back and do underneath. Whatever makes it easy for you. Just remember the whole point is to relax and take a break from our day. And then we're going to end up with a cool picture to color. And the last one. Now we are going to do a little more concentrating. Because we're going to rotate back and forth on this one to make this really cool meta pattern here. Okay? And you can do it, you can do this. We're gonna go step by step. Now I've got my master copy here. When I was doing it, when I was creating my coloring book page, I was in the zone. I had um, like my soft kind of music, uh, music that I like to listen to in the background. And I was just drawing away. So I wasn't um, talking, I wasn't on video. I was just in the zone. So. I'm gonna bring that back to you and I'm gonna make it easy for you because I'm gonna I'm gonna use our little uh, guide here. So we're gonna start off on this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go from top left to bottom right with a curve. And then I'm gonna do two more in this space here. So I'm a curve and then a curve. Okay, so three lines total. Okay, now I'm going to come over on this side and do a big rounding over here to the corner over here. And then I'm going to do one here. And then inside here, 
what I'm going to do is start. I'm not going to be from the corner because I've already done the corner. I'm going to come in a little bit and come in and then I'm going to do one more. So I'm doing two inside and that's it. That's it. We're going to just do it back and forth, rotating back and forth. And then this is what we come up with. So it's not a, um, it's, it's not going to be hard. It's just, you have to just be mindful of, of where you're at. Okay. I'm going to rotate it. Okay. So I'm going to, I like to do this line first. That's my, my anchor. So I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right. That's how I like to anchor it. Okay. Then I'm going to, I have a line here. I'm going to join it because I'm going to have two behind it, two shadows. Okay. Now I'm going to go from the bottom around the other way to the corner. And then I'm going to do that twice. One, two. Then I'm going to go and do it inside two times. One, two. Okay. I actually didn't do that twice on the outside here. So I might just take that last one out. You'll see. Okay, so I'm going to turn my tile this way. And I'm going to go from top left to bottom right. Twice. One, two. Go inside here. One big one. Okay. And then I'm going to go twice inside. One, two. I'm going to have one extra one right there because I wasn't counting. It'll be fine. I'm going to turn it this way, rotating. And I'm going to go from bottom left to top right. Come up, come up. Okay. Now bottom round it to the top and then I'm just going to do one in there and then in here I'm going to do two one two and that's it okay turn your top your rotate and we're going to go from the top I'll pull it in a little bit oh that's almost too much There you go. We'll just stick with this. Okay, so from the top left to the bottom right. And then two behind that. Okay, now I'm going to go from the corner, big, to the next corner, and then in here. And then I'm going to go two in here. Okay. I'm going to turn my, rotate my tile. I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right. One, two. Then a big one from here to here. And then here. And then two inside. One, two. And you'll see that some of the um, distances are not quite perfect. And it's not meant to. Because we're hand drawing it. We're going to turn our, rotate it. Now we're going to do it this way. And you'll see the meta pattern start bottom left to top right. Then twice. Then a big one this way to the corner. And then right there. And I'm going to do two inside. And you'll see that whenever I can meet up, I meet up with it. All right, now this is the one that I had one extra and we're going to fix it. One of the things that is so cool about Zentangle that I learned from the uh, founders of Zentangle is that there are no mistakes. It's just possibilities. So we just work with it. And we're going to go from top around here. That's why it just the stress can go away when you don't need to have it perfect. 
It's the process that makes it so nice. The process is the whole thing about relaxing. Now two inside. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. And I'm going to rotate my tile this way. And I'm going to go from bottom left to top right. And the other thing is too, um, I'm guiding you through this, but if, you know, do not stress if it doesn't look exactly like this. Okay, we're going to go the other way, big circle here, and then, okay, this is where I had an extra one there, so on this one, I just put an extra one, no big deal, and on the other ones, I don't have to have an extra one, it'll be fine, twice inside, done, okay, now I'm going to turn my tile this way, and Go from top left to bottom right, curving. Now join up with that line and curve it. That line and curve it. Then we'll go this way. Curve it. Curve it. Okay, now I need to do two little ones inside. One, two. And now you're starting to see the meta pattern start. Now I'm going to turn it this way right here bottom left to top right two more behind it over on this side big one and big one and then I still need to do two on the inside here done now you can see the better pattern started to match that one right there if you wanted to make this one I mean, that's fine. See, you can just fix anything. Like I said, it's the process. The whole purpose of me doing Zentangling is to take a break from my day and relax and just enjoy the art. Okay? Top left to bottom right. It's the process, but then you do end up with a very cool piece of art at the end. Going the opposite way. And then we're going to need to do two in the middle. One, two. Okay. And just to match that one, if we wanted to do just one more, there. Okay. Fixed it. All right. So then the next row, the third row, we're going to start this way. We're going to go from left to right. And then we up with these. And go around big on this side. Come around like that. Do two little ones. Done. Okay. Turn your tile. I'm gonna go from. See, this is the this right here. This is the line I'm always based. That's like my anchor for the tile. Okay. Once I do that one, I know where I'm going. Go from left to right match match bottom round this way and we're just going to do one here and then we're going to do two in here done okay now we're going to go this way top left bottom right Echoing it, then come around this way. And we're going to do two in the middle here. Done. Okay. Now we're going to turn, rotate this way. We're going to go from bottom to top. Okay. Now we're going to go the other way. Then we can go in here and do two. We're going to turn. I'm going to rotate this way here. So I go from top left to bottom right. 
I'm gonna match up with these, bring them down. I'm gonna go over here, make a big one around like that, bring that one down, then do my two in the middle. I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna go from bottom left to top right. Join these two. Make a big one the opposite way here. Here. Do two in the side. Done. Okay. Now on the next row. I'm gonna go down this way right here. You can see the meta pattern starting. We're gonna go from left to right, then two more, and then over the opposite way, right here, and then do two inside, one, two. Okay. Now we're gonna turn, I'm gonna rotate it this way, Okay, from top left to bottom right. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to make sure we do two inside here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn. This is going to be this way right here. Double check it. So bottom left to top right, you can just see the matter pattern starting. We're really taking shape now, isn't it? Okay. And we need to do two in here. One, two. And what I'm gonna do is just to match these up here, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more in here. So I wanna match that. Do one more in here. One more in here, just to match. See? What had been a oops, it's gonna turn out really pretty. All right, remember it's possibilities. They say there are no mistakes, just possibilities. Okay, the next one from, it's just so nice to have a positive at attitude and from around this way okay and then we know we need to go two more in here and we'll come back and fix that in a minute we'll work on it okay now we're gonna go this way add a little love to it as Maria one of the co-founders would say she'd say add a little love So let's go ahead and do this one. Just add in one more little bump there. And then we're gonna do two in here. One, two. Okay, so now we're gonna rotate this way. And we're gonna go from left to right, curving. We're gonna join up with this one, join up with that one. Now we're going to make this one go the opposite way. Join up with that, but we're going to add one more on both sides. Right here, we're going to make two go in, one, and then a little one. All right, the meta pattern is appearing. I love it. Okay, two more rows and we are almost finished. Hopefully relaxing. The side is going to go this way from top left around. Join your lines. Go around this way. Join your lines. And then in two times. Okay. Next one. I'm going to turn this way. We're going to anchor it left to right, 
join line, join line. Go the opposite way, join line. I mean, just do two more. And then we're going to do two in here. Okay. Rotate this way. We go from left to right. Join this line and this line. We're going to go big this way and join this and join that. And we need to do two inside. One, two. Okay. Now we're going to turn, rotate this way from left to right, going this way, and then the opposite way. And we're going to go twice. So we'll have that little piece that we added up top. Okay. All right. So then we have two more on this one. We're going to go this way. So from top left to bottom right, curving. Join those lines. Big opposite. Join those lines. And then we do two inside. One, two. Rotate. And we're going to go from left to right. Join lines. Join line. The opposite way. Twice. And then up in here. Twice. Done. Okay. All right. Last row. Can't believe it's already the last row. Here we go. So we're going to rotate this way. We're going to go from left to right, and then we're going to go one, two, go over up here, opposite, to the corner, to the corner, okay, and then right here we need two more inside, one, two, okay, so now we're going to rotate this, this way right here, okay, so I'm going to go from top left to bottom right, and then one, two, big one the opposite way, bring these around, done. And then I still need to do my two inside, one, two, okay. rotate. Okay, we're going to go from left to right, and then one, two, big one this way, and then we're going to join. Join this one, join that one. We still need to do two on the inside, one, two. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it this way. And we're going to go from left to right, joining these two. We're going to go big the opposite way and join these two. And we still need to do inside. One, two. Okay. So we'll rotate left to right. Now we're going to do big the opposite way, and here, and here. Still need to do two inside, one, two. And the last one, we made it to the last one. How about that? Okay, here we go. From left to right, bringing those down, the big opposite up here, Bring those around. We still need the inside. One, two. And you have done it. You've completed it. Okay? All right. It reminds me, in a way, of just like a stained glass window. That's just, that's what our, um, some of the old uh, tile patterns that you see. I just love all that. So, um, you have your coloring book page that is uh, what I submitted to the Villages Coloring Book. 
So right here, M1 and T5. And let me grab it from the floor. And you can just do it however you want to do it. All the different combinations. Um, just have fun. All right. And hope you enjoyed it. And um, this is something I plan on doing more of are the projects. So uh, one of the next projects I'll do is the uh, third coloring book page that I submitted. And um, we'll just have fun with it. So hope you have a good week. And I'll see you next time on Tangle Break. Bye for now.